Hello, my young you dolphins. Normally, I read different types of stories, and they are usually fiction, which means that the story is fake. And even though they're very, very entertaining, this one, however, is an informational text. And it gives us information about our skeleton. And we've been doing some health lessons about our body, and I saw this book, and I thought that this would be wonderful, and we can learn about our skeleton together. Are you ready? I am. So this is a book about your skeleton, and it was written by Ruth Beloaf Gross and illustrated by Steve Bjorkman. And if you look at the cover, you can see a boy looking in the mirror, and what he sees is his own skeleton. So let's get some facts going and learn about our bodies. Everybody has bones. Everybody needs them. If you didn't have any bones, you'd flip-flop like spaghetti. Your bones are hard and stiff. The rest of you is soft. The hard, stiff bones help hold up the soft part, and they give the soft part a shape. You can feel the hard, stiff bones that help hold you up and give your body its shape. You have more than 200 bones in your body. Long bones, short bones, flat bones, curved bones, little bones, and big bones. There are bones in your head, and bones in your toes, and bones almost everywhere else in between. All of your bones put together are your skeleton. But a skeleton isn't just a pile of bones. This isn't a skeleton. Neither is this. What's wrong with these pictures? Could they just be a pile of bones put together? The bones have to be put together right. It's a good thing that bones are hard. If you bumped your head, you might get a headache, but the soft, squishy brain inside your head would be safe. Your head bones are like a hard hat. They keep your brain from getting hurt. The bones in your head are your skull bones. Construction workers have to be extra careful so they wear hard hats over their hard skulls. So right there is a skeleton put together just right. Your heart and lungs are soft and squashy too, but nothing will happen to them even when somebody hugs you too tight. The bones that curve around your chest keep your heart and lungs from getting hurt. 
the bones that curve around your chest are your... You're right, they're your ribs. You can feel them under your skin. Maybe you can even count them. Did you try to count them? Every bone in your body is joined to at least one other bone. Put your thumb and first finger together. Can you see where your fingers bend? The bending place places are where two bones are joined. The bending places are called your joints. Strong, stretchy bands, like big rubber bands, hold the bones together. These bands are called ligaments. Joints and ligaments. And we'll learn more about this next year. Without the joints in your fingers, your fingers would stick straight out. You could never play ball, or play piano, or button your buttons, or peel a banana. Shoulders, elbows, and wrists are joints. So are hips, and ankles, and knees. How many things can you think of that these joints help you do. So think about all the bending. If you drop something on the floor, if you're riding your bicycle, if you're playing a game, even playing video games, think about how difficult it'd be if you couldn't bend your fingers. jumping rope. Other joints in other parts of your body also help you move. You can twist and turn and touch your toes because you have joints in your backbone. Your backbone is made up of little bones called vertebrae. Another name for backbone is spine. And during the school year, you know that the nurse will call everybody in and she checks their spine. You can open and close your mouth because you have two important joints in your skull. Put your fingers in front of your ears to feel them. These are, I'm sorry, there are other places in your skull with, where bones are joined, but these joints do not move. In front of your ears. I can feel it. I'm opening and closing my mouth. Can you do that? Your bones help you move and your joints help you move. But you couldn't move and couldn't even stand if you didn't have muscles. You're so right. Your muscles make your bones move. The muscles are attached to your bones. 
they pull on the bones to move them. It takes many muscles just to take one step or even to wiggle your toes. Your skeleton began growing before you were born. It wasn't hard and bony then. It was made of soft, rubbery cartilage. If you want to know what cartilage feels like, pinch the end of your nose or bend your ear. This baby's bones are still soft and rubbery. Bit by bit, your skeleton got harder. Bone began to take the place of the soft cartilage. After you were born, your bones kept getting harder. There was less and less cartilage in them. So bending my ear, my nose, Your bones are getting harder all the time, and they are getting bigger too. Your growing bones are helping to make you bigger and taller. They will keep on growing until bone has replaced almost all of the cartilage. Even as an adult, has, we have cartilage, and the ends of some bones in the ears and nose and in a few other places. Some of the things you eat help your growing bones get harder and stronger. Do you know what some of those things are? No, not gum, not soda. Milk, you're absolutely right. Even ice cream, because ice cream is made of milk. Yogurt, lots of good things because I know you're eating healthy. How old will you be when you stop growing? That's hard to say. Most likely, the bones in your legs will keep on growing and making you taller until you are somewhere between 14 and 18 years old. Your arm bones will stop growing at about the same time that your leg bones do. But your hands and your feet may grow for another year or two. Most girls stop growing before most boys do. But almost everyone finishes all of their growing by the time they are 19 or 20. When your bones are fully grown, they will be stronger than granite rock. But even though bones are strong, bones can break. Have you ever broken a bone? I have. It is very painful. What happens if you break a bone in your leg? The doctor puts the broken parts together and lets you get a plaster cast to wear. You can ask your friends to sign the cast. Then you wait for the bone to heal. The cast keeps the broken bone from jiggling around and the bone will mend itself. An x-ray will show the doctor how well the bone is healing. No matter how big or small a bone is, 
and no matter how it is shaped, there are spaces inside the bone. The big long bones in your arms and your legs have big long spaces inside them. At the end of these bones, there are tiny spaces, kind of like the spaces in a sponge. Other bones have tiny spaces too. The spaces are filled with a mushy material called bone marrow. Red bone marrow is where red blood cells are made. And this is, you'll look at it, this is the, what an inside of a leg bone looks like. Blood cells are made at both ends of the bone. Blood cells are made here too, but only while you are growing. So take a good look. So your bones do more than hold you up and help you move and give your body a shape and protect your squishy insides. Your bones also help you make blood. There are 206 bones in a human skeleton. Every single bone has a name. In a real skeleton, the bones are white. The bones in this picture, though, have different colors to make it easier to tell them apart. So if you look, you see the head bone, the shoulder bone, the neck bone, the arm bone, the back bone, the hip bone, the leg bone. So all the bones. And then I'm going to show you the same picture but this time, it is their scientific names. Let's take a peek. Some of them are very hard to say. We'll work on that next year with you so you can learn all the different bones. Do you remember how many bones are in a body? I bet you do. I would love it if you could send me a message, maybe showing me how you are exercising and moving the different joints in your body, or just tell me something that you learned from this story. I miss you so much and love you, and I hope everybody is well. Take care.